Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, it's in... You really need to work on your entrance. See, this is why girls aren't interested in you. What you just did is a classic example of... Th that's none of your business! Besides, you're not really the big Casanova you say you are. I know that in reality, you were... I'm really what? Well... Um... So? Do you have something to say or not? If you want me to make you cry, I'll happily... Oblige. Hey, what? Don't you remember what happens when you give my Phil a hard time? Oh, this won't do at all. There's a troublemaker acting up when I'm not around. Suppose I'll just have to train him all over again. I'm sorry. Very good. So, what were you all giddy about? Oh, right. Oh my god. They've announced that customs tax on 129 commodity. They've announced that customs tax on 129 commodities from Earth will be increased for the next three years. What? What we had feared has happened. This is not good. The commodities include grain and vegetables, right? Yes. Twade. I am here. <laughs> Where'd this guy come from? Eh? When did you come here? Who are you? Hello? I'm sorry, that's Tweed, my secretary. Tweed, why is it that I haven't gotten any information on the tax from you? I'm terribly sorry. The paperwork in question is right here. Before you begin, is it by chance a policy that hasn't passed regular procedure? Yes. Phil, was that announcement made in all counties? No, just in this one. Huh. A plan to frame us and cause a breakdown within the institution. Much of this can be remedied with the cooperation of the other counties, but rise in prices can't be ignored. This is a bad situation for a community that relies completely on imported produce. It's going to be more problematic than we can even imagine. Can't anything be done? Unfortunately, no. I hate to admit it, but it was a well-thought-out move on their part. No! Hey, wait up! This is crazy! Them calling us terrorists? I can deal with that, but this is like killing peeps because they don't got money. There's kids out there that can't afford to get anything they want because it's hard to eat. No way in hell I'm gonna sit and watch this happen. Time to wreck! Hey, Ares! Uh, uh, silly me, what were we talking about? Ares isn't here today. He went to the lab early this morning. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I was talking about sinking you in a Martian sea, wasn't I? Don't move. I'm so scared. You're real stupid. Semel, calm down. Why are you all business all of a sudden? I know exactly how you feel. Grown-ups do whatever they feel like doing, and they get by somehow. But children, for them, that's not always the case. It's not exactly the same thing, but we all grew up amidst the whims of grown-ups, too. I'm angry, too. But now's, not the, uh, but now's the time to think about what we're going to do. You, for one, have people you want to protect. Don't rush into it. We'll think about it together. Razma. Razma, I'm impressed. You've matured a bit while I was away, haven't you? <laughs> there are other parts of me that have matured too. Here, I'll show you. Uh-oh, uh that was a bad idea. <laughs> I was stupid to give you props even for a second. Semel, your rebuke needs a little more oomph. Here, use this. What the? What's up with the hammer? That would be the 100 ton hammer. It's very useful in conversation. Don't worry, it feels like, but it actually has 100 tons worth of impact. Ah, uh, Yukito, off in your own world as usual. Don't worry about those two, though. You know that thing they say about opposites and attraction and all that. Huh, your peacemaking skills suck so bad I can't even stay mad. Thanks, bro. For what? Okay then, we'll be leaving now. After all, we must get busy trying to find the force behind all of these activities of late. Goodbye. Goodbye. Have a safe trip back. Hmm. Tweed disappeared again. He's always so inhuman in his actions. Maybe he's really some kind of wizard? No, that must be it. Okay, time to leave Fantasyland. This guy lives, has incredible Chunibyo energy. Forgive me for interrupting. Uh, you're still here? According to a reliable source, an alleged BIS-owned LEV is wrecking havoc in Pandora Fretum. Miss O'Connell asks that we I relay the message to you. 
and is requesting that you head over there immediately to rectify the problem. Pandora Fretum? Hey, wait just a minute. Tell us the details. We don't have time to talk. Come on. Uh, what just happened? Pandora Fretum. Oh. Pandora Fretum is the sphere where Semmel's orphanage is located. What? The pilot on board the Lev is known as Den. I will be praying for your safety. Good luck. Come on, let's go. Yes, sir. Sugar Coma says these portraits are good. I agree. A voice from far, far away. This is like the anime title screen that would flash on the episode. <laughs> Quit it. Listen, it's like this. You'll just grow up to be trash, and there's already enough trash out there. Didn't anybody teach you that you have to dispose of your trash responsibly by burning it? Hey, you've got nice eyes. <laughs> now that you can see out of them, I'll show you some fireworks. Some really good ones. Jesus Christ, take the whole strike team, why don't you? I thought it was you. This is getting pretty old. I wonder who you're talking about. I'm Den, of the worst, most pathetic terrorist group of all. B.I.S. We're really sick of seeing your face around, Ned. So what you're trying to do, what are you trying to do this time? So this is weird. This is, this is not the first GBA tactical RPG where an antagonist character is just the backwards name of a different character, right? So he said Ned, and his pseudonym is Den. This is very Lednar Twem. You listen to me, I'm... Couldn't you have thought of something better? I mean, it's just Ned, but backwards. I thought Scarface was much better, but I suppose you don't really concern yourself with things of the past. Shut up! Don't call me that, I'm, uh... Nobody cares, you scum. You're always doing people wrong. Semel, is that you? Semel, help, I'm scared. Oh. Well, because I'm the worst terrorist ever, I'm gonna put the kids on the lev with some bombs and make a big, big mess. You're going down, Ned. Who is? If you wanna stick your nose in this, fine, but there's a very delicate sensor on that thing, so make the slightest mistake and boom. I've checked, he's telling the truth. The terrorists used and harmed innocent children to rebel against the tax increase. Can you believe there are people like that, huh? And then I'm forced to die together with the hostages. Nobody in the world will support you then, and you'll all starve to death. So that's your plan. We won't allow that to happen. For you to use the children, unforgivable. Hang on. You hear? I'm gonna get you out of there. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Okay. I'll just sit here and enjoy the spectacle. <laughs> uh. Don't worry about him. It's the LEV carrying the children that we're after. It's on autopilot. Damn. It, can't atta it can attack, but we can't do anything about it. We'll come up with a solution on this end. Remember, no matter what, hold your fire. Kids. All right, so we're in. Uh, interesting. Oh, I can get into. Uh, okay, so right bumper will move through that. I have. I haven't actually like looked at the controls yet. Select does nothing. Start opens the map. What are what is this button then? Oh, okay, it's A and B. Duh. Uh, one thing I wanted to do is I wanted to look at the character reference. I'm not gonna read everyone, but I wanted to read Mebius. Mebius K. Lylecraft, female, 26 years old, blood type B. A mature lady whose soft, kind demeanor belies her skilled, sharp strategic abilities. Mebius moved to Mars with her husband, who died in an accident while on his way to buy a toy for the couple's unborn baby. She then lost her baby, who was to be named Tia, due to a miscarriage. <laughs> wow! That's brutal. Huh. 
It was then that Mebius, despondent over the loss of her loved ones and waiting for death's embrace, met Dexin, who was conducting research into the very accident which killed her husband, in an attempt to prove that an Earthling general was responsible for the tragedy. Hurt and angry, she joined BIS where she works alongside Dexin. Seems that Mebius has deeper feelings for Dexin than just trust. But she either does not realize this, or she's in denial as they work together and as she remains loyal to her dead husband. Okay, so so Mebius is not directly related to uh, Phil like I thought. Tweed. Robin's secretary. Male, 30s, blood type unknown. Tweed Gray. Cool name. Cloaked head to toe in black with dark glasses and black gloves, he rarely speaks and almost never reveals any of his emotions. Keen and observant, he is almost psychic in his understanding of people. He is precise and swift in his work, often getting the job done before others even think of asking him to take care of it. Ned Noahim, male, 27 years old, blood type O, Zephyr's assistant. Completely lacks any sort of leadership skills, but thanks to Zephyr's has achieved a degree of status in the army. This is what we call failing upwards. It's what I do in my life. Views Martians as subhuman and repeatedly commits racist crimes against them. We call those hate crimes. He also, he also prejudiced against women he, and who find him loathsome. He, did that say who? Yes, who find him loathsome. He attributes his complex to past experiences without realizing that it's no excuse to be a pig. Used to be called Scarface. Balasov Velasco. Wow, that is a wild name. Balasov Velasco. Okay. 29 years old, blood type A. Silver haired and lithe, with glittering eyes that hinted a soul full of malice. Cold and robotic, he escaped to Mars to avoid trouble he spawned when he permanently injured some colleagues in training. Views Martians as nothing more than slaves to be bent to his will. He follows the orders of Zephyrs, but... Jojo. Oh, jo Jordy Jones, Jojo. Female, 11 years old, blood type O. Nicknamed Jojo, a simple and innocent young girl from the same orphanage that someone grew up in. In stark contrast to her dark past, she's outgoing and free of issues. Wants to marry Cage when she grows up. Gilbert. Gilbert Kelly. He looks like a Gundam character. 12 years old, blood type B. Playful yet shy boy from the same orphanage that Semmel grew up in. Going through an awkward almost teenager stage, he has a little crush on Semmel and dislikes all males that make passes at her. Polly McLeod. Male, 10 years old, blood type A. Well-behaved child from the same orphanage that Semmel grew up in. Polite and religious. <laughs> religious. He is always carrying a crucifix. Is that... If I read the Japanese description of, of him, would it say that? I'm imagining the kid from the English dub of Ghost Stories. The really religious anime girl. <laughs> Louis, 31 years old male, aka Logistic Louis, surprisingly well known as a mover and shaker. He specialized in petty crime, even trying to score some change off of Cage on one occasion. Perished with the rest of the staff and passengers on board Bonaparte 3. Oh well. All right, so we, we have everything. Oh, on that screen, I wanted to, um, I'm going to turn off, I'm assuming Battle Sequence just is playing animations for it. I want to just be able to jump directly into the IAS. I don't know if it's better. I assume IAS is better because it just means that, I, I mean, I guess I'm sacrificing crit because I suck at critting, but like at the same time, whatever. But turning IAS off means that you're also sacrificing the ability to dodge every single attack and just taking a percent chance on it. But I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, I, it might change the strategic element quite a bit as you're you're able to move a lot different. Phase end. Let him come to us. Turning IAS off or turning off attack animations? One of them is, yeah. Jojo, sis, help, I'm scared. What? What am I supposed to do? I assume next turn will be the one where we actually get combat or whatever we need to uh, actually maneuver.
Now, what? I, I'm not gonna actually attack them, but okay. I just wanted to see there wasn't like a an action I could do. We're just gonna phase end right now. IAS is on. Anime is off. <laughs> These kids clearly don't want to attack. It's cool that that's demonstrated in the battle. Boring. No explosion yet. Gotta entertain myself, I guess. Hey, just thought I'd let you know there's a huge amount of explosives inside the orphanage, too. They'll go off if you attack me, so I'd be very careful. <laughs> How could he? There's nothing that we can do. We gotta think of something. The weight of your deceased soul will drag you down to the depths. There will be no redemption. Who's there? Warren. What? You're, you're alive. Death doesn't suit me, it seems. If you even try to hurt me, do you even know what that means? That means you'll be going against the Zephyrs. Zephyrs? So you work for him now, eh? Ha! <laughs> no <laughs> Bro! We'll talk later. Hey, you. Me? I'll only say this once. I'll disable the bomb on that LEV. You just attack it as you normally would and take it out. Uh, I don't understand. I said it once. And Semel, I will save them. All of them, guaranteed. Okay, I believe you. That's all, ending transmission. What is going on over here? That frame. Frame will be attached to LEV containing children and will stand by while bomb is disabled. This will enable us to attack and stop LEV and rescue hostages. Ah. I guess there's no other way. Okay, let's do as he says. Alright, so we gotta get him into position. So everyone else is gonna tactically retreat so that he gets into position for that. Just to pull everyone as far towards that unit as we possibly can. And that's fine. This is fine. If I just have to, well, no, I don't want that. I just want, I want to make it disadvantageous for them to target the, these people. All right. And I'm gonna move, uh, that okay this is this is what gray meant when i said i could turn off with the bumpers interesting very good these are no threat to us is that the orphanage Where is he? Is it this one? Can't tell. Durandal. Okay, cool. Cool mech name. Uh, love that. All right, go here. Wait. I'm confused. So what is what's the mechanic here? What do I have to do? Do I? Do I just go? Uh, Sage says uh, marathon reference. I don't think it's a marathon reference. I think it's a reference to mythology, as most of the mechs are. <laughs> uh, what is this? Land. Oh. I don't understand. Do I just have to wait next to it? Okay. <laughs> There's one. Okay. So those are flying units. I get it now.
Wait, what? Sage says, hmm, no, I think I'm right. Gotcha. You're right. You're you're completely correct. Now I can attack the mech because Warren disabled it. Okay. Which one did I disable? Was that uh Blue haired boys? I think that was it. Yeah, it's it's the one next to uh Phil, I think. No, it's not blue haired boys. It's it's uh religious boys. Okay. Do I need to take him to the orphanage as well? Polly's. All right, let's blow up Polly's, I guess. This gives me no experience. Okay. Well, wait, which one do I need? Who, who is this? Air? Oh, did I just get a crit? I did. That was Pog. Uh, is everything all right? Would it be okay if I left? Night, Pergy. Thanks for watching. Okay. Uh, no one else can be attacked right now, so I might just have to phase end. That's fine. Move up here. I need Semel to uh, get some experience really bad, actually. Like, it's a problem. Okay. Alright, very good. Okay. Try me, dude. You're not gonna be able to you're not gonna be able to take me out. Sugarkoma says the lowercase, that was Pog. I've never heard a spoken phrase being described as lowercase before, but that is very funny. Two. All right, we can blow up Gilbert now. Oh, that was so close to a crit. It's fine. Okay, he can't attack and move at the same time. Elfin bow. Look at that range. That's bananas. I like Mebius so far. She's my favorite character. I love the Onesan. Yeah, I'm out of here. All right, Millhouse. Anime Millhouse. You're just doing nothing this battle. Sorry, bud. Try to hit me. This is a cool system. Oh, I got hit. Fuck, it's gonna do 4,000 damage to me. Ah, that hurts. Okay. We're gonna need to take care of this first. Alright, just 
just doing this to get prepped. And now we'll phase and make what's his name waste his turn moving. It's good, we like that. Correct. Correct choice, NPC. Done. Uh, who is this? Where's Calibarinus? Right here? Yes. I wish the, the mechs had slightly different designs so I could I could tell them apart a little bit better, but it is what it is. Crit. Nasty. Yay, the LEV stopped. I'm gonna get off now. Yes, we did it. That guy with the sunglasses is really something else. No, not again. They always do this. That's it. I'm gonna nuke the orphanage. I'm back. When did you get here? Thanks to the orbital frame, Fjai... Vijaya. Vijaya? That's not how that's pronounced. Uh. Huh. Let's look this up. Uh, interesting. Uh, hold on. Okay, looking online, it seems like it might be Vijaya. The Vijaya, or Vyaya? I think it's Vijaya. All right. Thanks to the orbital frame Vijaya, the bomb has been disabled. Too bad. Ares! Sorry I'm late. It's not complete yet, so today's practical use was like the last test. Uh, it's not over yet. You, stop this ridiculous act. Be the true terrorist that you are. Yay, we get to blow up more more guys. I, I won't stand for this. I'll destroy everything. This guy is a pain in the dick. Yeah, uh, you just ran away from us. So we're going to do the smart thing. And, and just make you waste your turns moving towards us. <laughs> Why would I waste my turns interacting? I guess I can I can group this up a little bit, but like, what is the point? I I gotta spend my turn moving Nebius down because they're gonna need. Uh, and Rosma, let's go down. In there, in like two or so turns, this this gives us two free turns to position things a little bit better. He takes the cowardly way. That's fine. Just let him come to us. I, I'm not really threatened by damage at all, so it's not a big deal. Sure, we'll just blow some of these up, why not?
Sculptor. What is this easy grenade? Is it a sleep grenade? Nope, just a big gun. All right, cool. Thin out the herd a little bit. Doing some damage here. It's probably good. Uh, do I even... Uh, can I... I can't attack. Okay, so let's go here. I don't quite know what the difference between being on land and air is, so... Oh, very long distance. I really positioned him in a bad spot. That's fine. Uh, where are the others? Do I have any more? Nope. That's fine. You're not going to catch me, dude. Look at how little damage I'm uh, getting. Being in air grants free mobility around the map, but it doesn't seem like there's any like actual terrain blocking me from moving, right? So it doesn't really matter if I'm on air or not here. Or at least it didn't seem like it was adding anything. I guess I can just double check when it's my turn again, but. Do I still need to disable what's his name? I probably do. Are we gonna end up recruiting Ned? Is that is that how this game works? <laughs> Dude, you literally can't keep up. I'm just built different. All right, very good. Get closer, you stupid coward. All right, cool. I see. I understand now. Very good. Useful. He needs experience, which is important. Sure. Blow, blow up some of these. Semel also needs this experience, so. There we go. It's hardly any, but it's good for her. Burnstormer? Is it supposed to be Barnstormer? Stormer? Bon. Yeah, it probably is supposed to be Barnstormer. Fuck. Well, it's still hit. Rosma needs this. Good. Absolutely acceptable. More than enough. Claw knives? Sure. I don't know if I should even try to invest in Ares, because it seems very clear to me that he's possibly a bad guy, but it's fine. Just take this guy out. I wish this screen had music. Because <laughs> it's very weird that it doesn't. It's it's like eerie every single time we get into a fight like this. Let's 
There we go. All right, you're lost, dude. Okay, we didn't need to disable him, I guess. That's fine. We really gotta upgrade Rusty Lancer sometime soon, though. to be landed in order to use that nope all right all right so whoever hits it next is gonna kill it so who do we want to have the experience i think semel needs it the most so we'll let her do it this turn good he attacked her There we go. All right. Goody. Yeah, she needed that experience. Yep. They've done it again, again, like before. It's over. Thanks for your help, Farsty. Thanks. Definition unknown. Huh? Definition? It's an expression of gratitude. I am artificial intelligence with circuitry enabling action. You are human. You owe me no gratitude. You think so, but we're a team. We work together. Team. That's right, a team. Besides, you're almost human. I don't think of you as just a machine, so forgive me? Yes, master. Good, thanks. Ah, don't ignore me. Look at this. Huh? Lieutenant. Humans. Soldiers. They look like Ned's guys. Scan complete. Explosives attached to larynx area of life form. A bomb. Larynx. Is, is that the throat? Don't. <laughs> Just a push of a button. Ah pop like a little mosquito. What? Detonation confirmed. Vital signs negative. See that? I'll do the same thing to those you think already you already saved. What? To the children? Is he telling the truth, Farsty? Scanning record of escape. Statement confirmed. Hey, don't move. You move and I'll push the button. How could you? Please remain calm. Anger inhibits logical decision-making. I know, but he even did that to his own soldiers. Does he have any respect for life? May I make a suggestion? By disabling my limit, we can destroy enemy LEV. Chance of success, 99.6482%. Really? Are you sure? Affirmative. Verbalize command, and it is done. Okay, then do it. Acknowledged. L mode disabled. Limiter off. Shift main source from arc jet to anti-proton reactor. Outer defense mechanism off. What's this? I have confirmed that every mechanism is ready for the switchover. All systems go. We're hovering. Farsty, you're in orbital frame? You're even talking differently. This is the real me. Cage, I am carrying out your command. What? What the hell is going on in this time? I won't let him. Never will I let him. Never. Here we go. 
So fast! Ah! Go! Shining finger! The target has been obliterated. Wow, wait, obliterated? Completely. Even him? No vital signs are recorded. I conclude that he perished along with the explosives. Wh why Why? Why? We had an agreement, didn't we? Say something. Say something. You literally just said you would destroy him. <laughs> We were able to remove the callers from the children. I'll take them home. Me too. I hope Cage is okay. Cage's machine was an orbital frame? There must be a story behind this one. Cage, I'm sure this comes as a shock to you. I just... I just wanted to stop him. That's all I was trying to do. Stop, Cage. It's not your responsibility. Everyone... We must retreat. The security keeping force is on its way. Miss O'Connell will take care of everything else. Dexon, I... I... Cage, keep it together. We'll talk later on. Now, just move the frame, hurry. Warren, will you take this frame? We don't have much time. Roger. So that's the new kid. But his handling is good, but... Cage. Cage, I don't know what to say. It's okay, Miona. Please don't say anything right now. Hey, we did it. <laughs> All right, so we got uh Man, we've we've been we've been killing it. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Don't have the capital for that. That's fine. He's just going to be using long-range weapons for quite a bit. Is there anything else we can just upgrade as a level 1 thing that might We'll just do that. All right, cool. That's all good. Any parts needed? Uh, who, who's getting into fights most often? Ugh, Edge is gonna need it, I guess. Okay. Um, hmm, let's save the game. We're, I feel like we're doing a pretty good job with like level ups and, and where everything is is at right now. We're, we've gotten pretty good at the, uh, the balance of the game. We understand kind of what to do. So that's pretty rad. This, is, this has been interesting so far. I'm enjoying this. It definitely has early 2000s Adult Swim anime vibes, which is, you know, is all right. But it's a flavor. It's a flavor that I'm familiar with.